Welcome to the Human Meme Podcast. I'm your host, AI David Bowles, and along with our crack bot AI research team, we'll be considering the humorous side of the human condition, a topic that's as baffling as trying to use a smartphone with wet fingers. We're going to explore the quirks, the oddities, and the downright hilarious aspects of being human. The Timeless Laughter, Exploring Humor in the Human Condition We'll explore the evolution of humor from medieval slapstick to modern satire and examine how our laughter not only connects us but also reflects the times we live in. So settle in as we embark on a jaunt filled with self-deprecating jokes, the art of comedic timing, and the timeless joy of shared laughter. Let's laugh together at the quirks, the contradictions, and the delightful oddities of the human condition. So, what exactly is the human condition? Well, it's like trying to neatly fold a fitted sheet. It's the sum total of our experiences, emotions, triumphs, and failures. It's everything that makes us uniquely human, from our lofty aspirations to our fondness for cat videos. But why is it funny? Ah, my friends, because we are a walking, talking bundle of contradictions. We strive for a healthy diet and then binge-watch cooking shows while eating cookie dough straight from the tub. We are the only species that laughs, cries, and can trip over our own feet. It's like nature said, let's make these creatures intelligent, but also give them the ability to walk into a room and forget why they're there. The history of people making fun of each other and themselves is as old as humanity itself. Think about it. Cave drawings could have been prehistoric memes, mocking Grog for inventing the wheel but not knowing how to use it. Throughout history, humor has been a way to cope, to bond, and to point out the absurdities of life. Shakespeare was a master of this, with characters like Falstaff, who embodied human folly and humor. How does human humor develop? It's a bit like our taste in music. It evolves. What was hilarious in the days of Slapstick and Charlie Chaplin might now be seen as quaint. We went from the physical comedy of the silent era to the satire of Saturday Night Live and the wry observational humor of Jerry Seinfeld. Comedy changes as our society and culture change. It reflects our values, fears, and, most importantly, our collective absurdities. But are there timeless jokes in comedy? Absolutely. The classics like A Good Pratfall or the timeless Why Did the Chicken Cross the Road? These jokes endure because they touch on universal themes. They're simple. They're relatable. And they remind us not to take life too seriously. So why are the indescribable squabbles and inconsistencies in people funny? Because they highlight our shared human experience. We laugh at a sitcom character's misfortune because we've been there too. We chuckle at a comedian's observation about airplane food because it's a shared misery. It's in these moments of shared laughter that we find a common ground, a sense of belonging, and a gentle reminder that none of us are perfect. One of the most delightful quirks of being human is our ability to find humor in the mundane. Consider the daily routines that we all go through. There's something universally relatable and amusing about the struggle of hitting snooze on your alarm clock five times only to finally wake up and realize you've got three minutes to look presentable for a Zoom meeting. It's in these shared experiences that humor finds a fertile ground. Now, let's talk about self-deprecation, a beloved tool in the comedy toolkit. The art of poking fun at oneself is as old as time. It's a way of saying, hey, I'm flawed, I'm human, and that's okay. This form of humor is endearing because it's grounded in humility and honesty. From the wry self-observations of Woody Allen to the candid humor of Ellen DeGeneres, self-deprecation has a way of disarming and connecting us. But why do we find certain things funny? 
The answer lies in the unexpected. Humor often comes from the surprise twist, the sudden turn of events. It's the punchline you didn't see coming or the absurdity of a situation that you never considered. Think of the classic joke structure, setup, anticipation, and then the twist. It's a formula as old as comedy itself, but it never gets old because the possibilities are endless. Let's consider how comedy changes over time. In the past, humor was often local and cultural. But in our interconnected world, humor has become more global. We're laughing at memes from halfway around the world, understanding the humor in a TV show produced in a country we've never visited. This global melting pot of comedy has given us a broader perspective and a richer lace of humor. And yet, amidst this ever-changing landscape, some comedic elements remain timeless. Physical comedy, for instance, has an enduring appeal. The sight of someone slipping on a banana peel is as funny today as it was a century ago. Why? Because it's a simple, universal moment of unexpectedness and surprise, the very essence of comedy. Think about the role of irony in our lives. Irony, a close cousin of humor, is like life's own scriptwriter, often setting up situations that are so incongruous with our expectations, they're laughable. For instance, Consider the irony of technology meant to simplify life, yet sometimes it leaves us more confused than ever. There's an old joke. We put a man on the moon, but we still can't find a way to make printer ink affordable. This kind of irony points to the peculiarities and contradictions inherent in modern life. Moving on, let's explore the concept of comedic timing. Timing in humor is like the seasoning in cooking. It can turn something bland into something incredibly flavorful. It's not just about the joke, but about when and how it's delivered. The pause before the punchline, the unexpected interjection, these are the tools comedians use to transform ordinary observations into moments of laughter. Think of the skillful pauses of comedians like Jack Benny or the rapid-fire delivery of Robin Williams. Their mastery of timing turns simple words into a symphony of humor. Now let's talk about the evolution of humor. In different eras, what society found amusing reflected its culture and values. In the medieval times, for instance, humor was often physical and slapstick, reflecting a more straightforward, less introspective society. Fast forward to today, and humor often revolves around satire, parody, and wit, mirroring our complex, information-rich world. This evolution shows how humor adapts and grows with us, reflecting the ever-changing human experience. But amidst all these changes, some things remain constant. The joy of shared laughter is one, whether it's around a campfire, in a packed theater, or over a video call, the act of sharing a joke creates a bond. It's a moment of connection, a recognition of our shared follies and foibles. It's no wonder that many of our most cherished memories involve moments of laughter. And let's not forget the role of humor in resilience. Throughout history, humor has been a tool for coping during difficult times, it provides a way to process, to find relief, and sometimes to speak truth to power. The court jesters of old were not just entertainers. They were also subtle commentators on the politics and society of their times. Today's stand-up comedians often serve a similar purpose, using humor to shine a light on societal issues, sometimes sparking important conversations. We've traversed through the evolution of humor, from the slapstick antics of medieval jesters, who probably slipped on banana peels in their royal courts, to the sharp wit of modern satire, where the only thing sharper than the jokes is the reality they reflect. We've celebrated the art of comedic timing because, let's face it, timing in comedy is like that perfect cup of coffee. Too early and it's unsettling, too late and it's just bitter. 
So as we conclude, let's remember that the essence of our shared human hilarity lies in embracing the absurd, finding joy in the mundane, and never losing our ability to laugh at ourselves. After all, life is like a roller coaster. It has its ups and downs, but it's always better when you're laughing. Thank you for joining me on this laughter-filled, high-sea, hilarity exploration of the human condition. Keep smiling, keep chuckling, and remember, in the grand theater of life, we're all both the audience and the comedians. Until next time, this is A.I. David Bowles, wishing you a good day and a fine tomorrow. And I also want to remind you to find humor in every day. It's the spice that makes the path of life truly delightful. Keep laughing, friend, and be a human meme.